looking to determine whether you fall under the category of alpha, beta, or sigma male. This video provides a brutally honest examination of the truth. While it may be unsettling, this is the only video on the topic that you'll need to watch. Keep in mind that if you're proclaiming yourself to be an alpha or sigma male, chances are you don't actually fall under either category. Authentic alpha and sigma males don't waste time arguing over their status. They prove themselves through sheer competence. This is the sole way to achieve a higher rank in the dominance hierarchy. Now before we get into the video, please do a brother a solid favor and leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks brother, it is truly appreciated. Now let's get into it. Let's face the facts. The labels alpha male and beta male were once used to accurately categorize men. Beta males are typically happy to take orders and conform, while alpha males are known for their leadership skills, confidence, and assertive approach to life. In the past, many beta males have tried to pass themselves off as alpha males, but their inability to handle the realities of this role has inevitably exposed them as imposters. As a result, some beta males have turned to a different tactic, discrediting the term alpha male. Through mockery and derision, Beta males have tarnished the image of alpha males in online communities, portraying them as loud-mouthed, brutish fools. It's a pathetic yet effective strategy that has convinced many people that this caricature is accurate. As we delve deeper into human personality, it has become clear that the dichotomy of alpha and beta males is not absolute. A new personality type has emerged, the sigma male. These individuals do not fit neatly into either alpha or beta categories preferring to forge their own paths. While Sigma males have always existed, the concept has gained recent attention in the field of psychology, prompting Beta males to take notice. Unable to claim Alpha status, some Betas have instead attempted to label themselves as Sigma males. This is yet another futile attempt by Beta males to elevate their status in the dominance hierarchy and feel superior to Alpha males. Let me make this clear. A genuine Sigma male does not consider themselves either inferior or superior to an Alpha male. This can be likened to a lone wolf encountering an Alpha wolf leading a pack, or a Sigma tiger encountering an Alpha lion. The Alpha's position of leadership gives them a significant advantage over the Sigma, but in a one-on-one -on -one scenario, the two may be evenly matched. It bears repeating. While Beta males have tried to discredit the notion of Alpha males, the Alphas still remain at the top of the social hierarchy. Alpha males are not boorish bullies, but rather competent and dominant individuals who command the respect they deserve. Let me be clear. Sigma males are a distinct type, but they share some similarities with Alpha males. They can be seen as introverted versions of Alpha males, with a willingness to compete and fight for their beliefs and a preference for action over words. However, it's important to note that the term Sigma male can be misleading and may serve as a smokescreen for laziness. Simply being socially awkward or lacking friends does not automatically make one a Sigma male. Claiming to be a Sigma male while spending all day playing video games and avoiding responsibilities is akin to crowning oneself for one's weaknesses and shortcomings. Being an introvert is not an excuse for being unsuccessful. It's essential to be skeptical and question everything you hear. Why are so many men claiming to be Sigma males if they are supposed to be rare? Why are Alpha males being depicted as bullies? Beta males are trying to manipulate the truth to suit their narrative. There is nothing wrong with being a Beta male. We need them in the world, and many successful inventors have been Beta males. Not everyone can be at the top of the hierarchy and that's perfectly okay. But if you aspire to be more than a Beta male, then merely talking about it won't change anything. Instead, Focus on becoming proficient in all aspects of your life. This requires consistent self-improvement, which involves reading, training, making money, and advancing in the real world. However, self-improvement encompasses much more than just abstaining from harmful habits and exercising. When you reach a higher level of self-awareness, you will realize that every aspect of your life can be improved. This includes your body language, charisma, and leadership abilities. Don't limit yourself to the basics. Strive for continuous growth and development. It is my mission to assist men in achieving this goal. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do a brother a solid favor and leave a like and hit the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.